Right, 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 right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Octane's Oracle. You've read the title and you're probably ready to angrily comment. So, before I do my normal introductions and explain what's happening today, I first want to preface this with this. I, as much as anyone, think that we should and want to see a Mario minifigure, a Luigi minifigure, a Princess Peach and Toad minifigure. I am not here to tell you that that is an invalid opinion. I'm just here to share my opinion, which is going to be controversial. But any, everywhere, anyone, everybody, uh, as, as that should be very clear, this is my unscripted talk show, solo cast, whatever you want to call this, where I like to talk about uh, Lego and everything that I'm thinking about um, in Lego at the moment. And as um, it should be very apparent today, I'm going to be talking about Lego Mario. And specifically what triggered this are the new rumours circulating about the Lego Mario D2C for this summer being a Peach's Castle. Great choice, Lego. I know this is highly desired. It's micro scale. Great choice, Lego. I think that's better. Oh, I'm going to get so much hate for this. <laughs> um, I liked the Microscale Hogwarts. Now, I'm not a usual fan of Microscale. I don't like oversized builds, and I much prefer play sets. So um, a Playscale Peaches Castle would have been better. But I'm really excited to see what they do with this. Now, never having really played Mario games and having more of an attachment to the NES and The Legend of Zelda, obviously, uh, judging by the channel, um, I'm not going to pick this up unless it's amazing. I don't think this will make my list, but I am much more likely to pick it up because it's micro scale. And I think that's just because I trust that it will look incredible. Now, I could be wrong. I haven't seen the set. I don't know anything about the set. But judging Lego's group, uh, Lego's precedence with Microscale, uh, when I think back to stuff like the Shuttle Discovery, Saturn V, uh, Pop-Up Book, um, just everything you've done with Microscale, uh, Helicarrier even, I'm not worried about the exterior. Like, if it was play scale, I could be slightly worried. You'd end up with some dodgy walls, maybe some, some cut content for play features. You'd end up with a play set, which overall I would prefer. But I think this is going to look a lot nicer. And I'm not opposed to a Mario micro figure. But, but that's really not what we're here to talk about today. I've been meaning to do this for some time, and I think there'll be another Octane's Oracle in the future about why I love the way they've done Lego Mario. But to be honest, over the last year and a half, it has really warmed on me uh, what they did with the license. I, I think it was incredibly clever how they choose to play it, and um, I think that really stands out. So I'm here to, uh, to crush your dreams, really. I don't want Mario minifigures. Uh, I, I think we need the core four. Uh, not even Bowser, just the core four. Uh, that's it. I mean, when I look back to, to characters I've seen in the Mario universe, uh, I think what it comes down to to me is I don't know how they transfer into minifigure scale. Let's just look at the scale of a Goomba compared to a minifigure and then try to imagine how many specialist molds they're going to need to make uh, Goombas and other creatures, um, just any creature that isn't somewhat humanoid, which is a lot in Mario. Think about Bowser. He can't just be a big fig. He can't just uh, be a minifigure with a really incredibly big arms. I, it doesn't work. I, what people fail to understand about Mario minifigures is that outside the core fort, you can't make Mario playsets. Because to make Mario playsets, you need more characters than Mario, and if you're going to brick build enemies, the minimum size they're going to be is the size of the Digilink scale, which you're already getting and complaining about. So, frankly, I don't know what you're looking forward to. It's going to be more cursed than Digi, Digi Mario if they did it. I mean, can we just logically appreciate what a minifigure scale Goomba will look like, and how ridiculous it will look if it's four times the size of a minifigure? This is incredibly different from other Nintendo licenses. I think to Animal Crossing, I think to Metroid, I think to Pikmin even, and obviously Zelda, where the majority of these creatures are humanoid or larger than humans. And that is the big key difference here. When you've got a creature that is larger than a human or minifigure scale, uh, I use the example of the, uh, I don't remember their names, the Bulbasaur from... Uh, Pikmin? Oh, that's just Pokemon, isn't it? That creature from Pikmin, the reason that that isn't a problem to be turned into a minifigure is because it's larger than the minifigure, so it would be brick built. But when you think about a lot of Mario enemies, I go to Koopa Trooper, the Bully, uh, the Bob-omb, and the uh, Goomba even, 
they're all smaller than minifigure form, which means they'd all need custom animal pieces to be done because minifigure scale Goombas without specialist pieces don't work. And that's what I keep circling back to. At a smaller scale, these creatures don't work. Minifigure scale Bowser is cursed. They're, you can't make him look at the best scale, and I really love what they did with him. He's the Digilink... Uh, not Digilink, the Digi Mario sets. By the way, quick plug there, if you haven't checked out the Digilink custom set showcase on the channel, I'd go do that. You know, uh, uh, that's pretty cool. If we like Mario stuff, we like Zelda stuff, don't we? <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, outside of the humanoid characters, I think it's, it's going to be really hard for them. And unfortunately, I think we are going to end up disappointed. I can see us getting a Mario minifigure. I, I can see that being the case. I can also see us getting Mario and Luigi giant figs like Harry and Hermione earlier this year. That would be a great duo. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with an even bigger Bowser. But I have a problem with Nintendo Mario minifigures. And I just don't think they're going to come out too well. But maybe that's just me. Anyway, that's not all I wanted to talk to today about with... um. Mario minifigures, because obviously the play scale aspect does work, and that's something I don't think a lot of people have really touched on, is what would minifigure scale Mario sets look like? Now, I'm not denying that they're not possible, they'd be fairly easy to do, although I do believe they'd be fairly linear if you think about the, the 2D nature of them, although there are plenty of customs to prove otherwise. However, I just keep thinking back to really at the drawing board level which one was going to work out better and it is the digi mario set they were going to work out better and look more polished or, although lego can technically bring polished or anything like who am i to judge but the world of mary is so very different that it almost took something this weird for it to work <laughs> uh that that's really odd to think about uh Basically, I'm very happy with what they did. I think that Lego Mario came out really strongly, and while I'm glad that this uh, Microscale Peach's Castle is probably going to be our first uh, big, like, non-course building set, um, besides the NES, uh, I don't think this is going to be a trend. I think that we'll have three more years of the course, maybe some more intermittent Mario stuff, but I could see them just switching up Nintendo licenses every three years or so. Like, I don't know how long the average of, uh, mu how, like, how much staying power Mario has. Once Luigi, uh, wears off and they have one more gimmick next year, I'm, I'm sure they have to change it up. But I think people expect them to change them up into figures, and I can see you getting a CMF. I can't see you getting much more than that, to be honest, as far as actual minifigures go. And I feel like I'm looping at this point, but can you guys at least see where I'm coming from? I mean, oh, you can't turn those into figures. They're just so abstract and so small. It's not like you could even brick build them. Yet again, who am I to judge? Lego, I'm sure, will pull it out of the hat when they do them. I'm just not sure that it's going to happen. And I think that's something we should be bearing in mind and thinking about before... All the, the peoples get angry in two years' time when it doesn't happen. Um, as much as we, we want it to happen, I think they know what they're doing, and I'm willing to trust them with it. And the Digilink stuff is really smart, and um, I'm going to keep calling it Digilink, aren't I? <laughs> uh, it's very smart. I'm going to do another video when I actually like break down why it's so smart, but that's not going to be for a couple of months. In the meantime, I have more speculation to do elsewhere, and I just wanted to, to talk about this briefly. It's been on my mind since the leaks started circulating, watched videos where people were disappointed, and honestly, I may be the only one that's not disappointed that, that we, there won't be any minifigures. I, I think this is a great move by LEGO, and um, I'm really excited to see how it comes out. I'm sure I'll end up talking about it when it does come out, even if it's not in an Octane's Oracle. Uh, so I guess that will wrap us up for today. Bit slower, bit rambly, just like to talk about what's on my mind, which is the whole point of this show. 
But anyway, I want to hear what you guys thought of that, this leak and news, um, and obviously my opinion on the Mario minifigures down in the comments below. Roast me, uh, disagree with me, agree with me, challenge me, supply me evidence. I don't care. I'd like your comments, though. That would be great. And we can have a spirited debate about it in the comment section below. If this is the kind of content you like seeing on the channel, then let me know. But I'll be considering subscribing. And obviously, the real chop content that we do here on the channel comes every Monday and Friday. Um, uh, especially where we're ramping up for custom wave showcase number three um, on Fridays. Um, so stick around for that. In the meantime, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.